Well, hello there, my game people. This is your Fabus South React here, and I'm back in Alien Infestation, and this is actually the very last episode and stage for that matter. It's by the very end, and it's uh, episode 15. And uh, I have just stacked it up pretty much everything that I can carry because, uh, well, let's just say that I am facing a rather angry big fucking bitch alien queen. And I mean, I have beat them up and heh, finished off quite a few alien queens in my gaming career, but uh, I tell you what, this alien queen are. I mean, it's not the hardest queen ever in an alien game, but. There's so many things on, uh, you know, this uh, part of the game where things can go wrong. And you will understand that in a brief moment here. This is actually my <laughs> third try at this. I died in the two previous attempts. And I went ape shit in the second try because I think it was some kind of glitch because... Uh, you see those... Uh, I think it's C4 bombs or something like that that you are supposed to place out and just when the alien queen walks by you're just supposed to blow it up in her face. Well, for some uh, strange reason or whatnot, uh, the bomb didn't explode when I pushed, I think it's the action button. Nothing happened. It didn't explode or anything. So I got uh, messed up. So this is the third time I have to record this. So I hope that things will work out better this time. And I swear to God that everyone that uh, comes this far in the game is gonna freak out. You know, anger management issues and all that. Because uh, first of all you have to push uh, the button to get through all the dialogues. And then you have to pretty much rip and tear for, I don't know how many minutes it takes, but it's perhaps something between 6 and 10 minutes. It also depends on uh, how many, like, successfully, you know, bombs you can uh, explode right uh, in the face of the queen. Because that's the way you're supposed to take care of this asshole, but uh, it's easier said than done. And uh, you're soon, <laughs> you're soon to find out why. As soon as I'm finished with this bastard here. Yeah, kill it! Not yet, because you're gonna die first. Yes, eat him! Eat him! It made me think about that scene in Napoleon Dynamite. Eat it! Eat it! You stupid llama, but in this case you stupid alien queen. And now you will understand why this fucking alien bitch is hard as hell to kill. Because... Uh, she releases the most annoying fucking alien assholes I have ever faced. They slide like on the ground and they climb everywhere. And they fuck things up. So, uh, well, the best way to do is just fucking toss everything you got in the face of the queen here. And place that shit. You see what I mean? There's one of them and I was just lucky that... The bastard didn't uh, mess up my attempt to blow her up. And of course you're supposed to take advantage of uh, these barrels here. And I figured out that the best way to do, is, uh, to do this is to place the bombs in front of the barrels and then stand in front of everything because then you won't accidentally shoot them if the alien queen releases uh, her alien soldiers. Yeah, come on. Yeah, take it. And that was an accidental drop on my behalf, but fuck it. Okay, come on then. I don't know if that actually hit her, but I'm gonna keep... A oh shit, you see what I mean? Those bastards messes things up. And if you are really unlucky, they can actually do like some kind of show cold wrestling move on your ass. And then you are in deep shit. Because if they do it uh, on the ground, uh, you know, down below, and the queen gets really close, you can like jump on your face. And that takes like massive damage. Oh yeah, another one. 
But I have to say that this, uh, you know, the final boss here, it's more about luck, I have to say, than skill. Luck that, uh, first of all, that you even get to, uh, you know, use the bombs in the right way and that uh, the aliens that <laughs> jump all over the place don't uh, get their hands, or should I cl say, claws on you. So it's pretty much almost like a try and error kind of thing. Plus, uh, you know, the luck part. But so far so good. And here's the thing. If you're lucky, uh, the queen can actually... I don't know what's uh, called in English, but... Uh, she, do, she does the same fucking uh, jumping motion over and over again. All you have to do is, is some kind of... Uh, movement that you use, that you do. You just move back and forth like this. Then she just jumps up and down. It's like she's stuck in an animation, kind of. When she's in uh, mid-air. Then you just have to stand here and pump her full of lead. But uh, then again, if she releases the aliens, they can climb and do, uh, you know, the show called crap on you. But uh, as far as I see here, things are going well. But now I'm out of ammunition, so I have to run like a bastard here. And get some more... Oh shit, that was close. She can actually hit you in mid-air there, so that you get dropped down to the ground. Okay, I think... Yes, I'm ready to rock and roll again. <laughs> okay, oh shit. Oh, that went well. Straight down to hell indeed. Okay, see if I can fucking take her out this time. Just gonna stay. Oh crap, miss. Toss the hand grenades in her face. It's like the plastic surgery gone wrong edition. For aliens, that is. Okay, see if I can fix it this time. Because in the second video I got killed here at this part. Aha! She fucking died. There you go. You go down, you bitch. So there you have it. I fucking killed the bitch. Finally. God damn it. Took me three times. Oh well. It's finally done. But now what? I have actually never seen this part of the game. Yes, this is going to be like Resident Evil, you know. Countdown to zero and everything explodes. Ah, yes, the cargo area, but I don't think that you have to worry about that now because, you know, that's a battle for another day. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I will worry more about my own ass, if you know what I mean. Just get the hell out of there. Okay, and everything explodes. But, uh, huh. the question is, did he make it out in time? And that's uh, probably one of the questions that a lot of the fans wonder as well. But, uh, who knows if uh, Way Forward ever will make uh, Alien Infestation 2. Maybe if uh, the new Chantier game goes well, maybe. They can make a new one for Nintendo 3DS, who knows. The only thing that I know about this ending here is that there's going to be like a... For, uh, you know, ever going credit... Uh, I mean, ending credits list. So I guess that I could tell what I think about Alien Infestation. Kind of like a summary review or something like that. Well... First of all, it was way better than I thought that it would be. Because normally when <laughs> I found out about games so many years later, it's... Well, most of the time it's a crappy game. But to my surprise, it was actually pretty darn good. One of the very few, like, bad things that I can mention about Alien Infestation is the controls. I don't know why they're so stiff and <laughs> retarded at times, but... That's one of the very few, you know bad things that I can say about the game because there's way more good stuff than bad then of course 
the game could have been a bit longer, but this was like a Nintendo DS game, and I honestly don't know like what kind of budget they had or anything like that, but it's rather short. I actually don't know what time, I mean how many hours it took for me to finish this, but I don't think it's more like five hours or something like that. And it's actually the very first time that I finished this game, so I think that's a pretty decent, uh, you know, finishing time. And uh, I guess that there could have been, like, perhaps more weapons. And I also have to say that I wish that there were, I mean, that there was uh, more, like, scary parts. And a combination of, uh, you know, comedy and horror wasn't... You know, the best of <laughs> moves to do when it comes to alien game. But Way Forward ain't like a horror, you know, video game developer company. So, I, I mean, they used like the alien license and then they added their Way Forward touch, you know. Because normally they are all about, uh, you know, colorful games, comedy and all that. So... That's like their way of showing people like this is our version of Alien pretty much. And I remember way back in time when I just saw some reviews about uh, Alien Infestation and people were kind of uh, confused like is this even an Alien game? I mean it's <laughs> most obviously an Alien game but is it the kind of Alien games that the fans really want to play? And uh, I have to say that either you're gonna hate it or you're gonna love it. There's like no in between whatsoever. In my case, I have to say that I like it more than I hate it. And it's going to be interesting when I'm going to try to review this game either tomorrow or later this week. Because uh, normally I take time to like. Uh, make you know all the thoughts and everything just to sink in what I really think because I try not to stress when it comes to reviews because it's not fair for anyone really the the ones that reads it uh, the ones that has made a game so I try to like really to think things through so that it becomes uh, I, I have to say I, I just this uh, a fair review, so to speak, because I don't like to rush things, at least not when it comes to reviews. But uh, I have to say, at uh, this moment, it's either like a 3.5 out of 5 or a 3 out of 5, I have to say, because I can't, uh, at least I don't feel like it's worth a 4 out of 5. I have to think about it. But uh, I just hope that you guys enjoy the Alien Infestation series. It's 15 episodes, so you got. Uh, if you have never watched any of my previous ones, then you got hopefully some entertainment for yourself to watch. And I have to say that I enjoyed recording each and every one of these videos. It actually took me almost the whole summer to record this. I don't know how it's like for you guys when it comes to weather, but the Swedish weather is so fucking bad at times, so... Normally, it takes some time for me to record videos because I can't do it when there's thunderstorms, because... I don't wanna fry my, you know, equipment, and I don't wanna <laughs> do everything from, you know, the very start. If I have, you know, in the middle of a video recording section, and then you have to do everything from the start. So normally I have the time, like, is it <laughs> good weather or is it gonna be, like, Hellraiser outside? So it has taken quite some time to do, like, 15 episodes. So, but, uh, I think it worked out pretty alright in the end. And, uh, I think I did a rather good job also when it comes to how long each episode should be. Because I have noticed that uh, some people uh, doesn't like when the videos are too long or too short. So you have to find like a middle stage 
where everybody's happy with the length of uh, each video. And I have to say that uh, something between like 15 and 20 minutes are like alright, I guess. But sometimes it's hard to like time everything, but... Oh, finally we are at the very end of the ever going uh, credit list here and thanks for playing well thank you very much for making this game way forward fucking kick ass and before i wrap this up i'm just gonna show you guys some of the extra stuff that's actually in the game like the marine rooster for example uh, you can actually see uh, it's like a collection of each character that you can well some of them at least you can play as in the game and this, uh, yeah, Duke guy. I actually finished the whole game without dying one single time. And I finished the whole thing with him. But here you got some of the characters here. I can't go, like, read through everything. But this is pretty much their bio for each character. And for some reason I have missed two here. I see that there's two blank screens. I don't know if there's, like, Easter eggs or something like that. Because I can't really recall that I have uh, missed like any area in the game so I don't know if there's like uh, characters which you can unlock but yeah I'm just gonna leave that to you guys because I'm pretty much done with this game uh, there's just one more thing I want to show and that's the knife trick and if you have watched uh, Aliens or Alien 2 then you know this one you know when Bishop does the knife trick and that sucked pretty hard, so I'm gonna go for it a second time. And uh, of course it's pretty simple, just avoid hitting yourself with the knife. You're supposed to hit the red area. Okay, so far so good. But for how long? Okay, see if I can get the high score here. Uh, okay. No. Ah. Well, it was not the high score, but it was alright. This is a start. But you guys get the idea, so... I'm just gonna wrap things up here. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And like always, feel free to subscribe and feel free to comment. So, uh, just take care, people. This is VX signing out. Bye-bye.